Hello, I'm Sean Roberts, Chief Technologist for Lincoln Network, and this is Lincoln Shorts. Earlier today, I had the opportunity to speak with Kim Wyman, Washington Secretary of State, and this is our conversation. Here's one. Uh, it, what should a voter do if uh, somebody came to your door um, or even on your way if you decide to uh, deliver your ballot in person at the elections office? Um, I, I, I assume you have, do you have multiple drop boxes in your, your counties or just one in the, um, in, well, you can answer, this can be part of your answer. I'm sorry, okay. I'm answering it for you. Um, so if somebody comes and asks your ballot, um, what would be the proper course of action um, for a, a voter? Well, my, my personal recommendation as Secretary of State is never give your ballot to someone you don't know. Um, be it in some Dropbox, in, a, in an office or a store or some organization um, to, you know, somebody come up, coming up to your door and asking for it. Uh, you know, unless you would hand a stranger $150 cash and say, yeah, take that to the bank for me. And, and uh, no, I don't need a receipt. You know, you should treat your, your ballot like money. And I don't think any of us would give somebody cash that we didn't know. Why would you give your ballot to someone you don't know? So my yeah. recommendation is use one of the over 500 hundred ballot drop boxes we have here in Washington state. If you want to put it into the USPS blue mailboxes, you can do that. Just make sure you get a postmark on or before election day. And we do have prepaid postage in Washington. I forgot to mention that too. So, um, you know, voters have a lot of options or you can go to a, a, a voting center in your county and drop it off there. So it's kind of whatever you feel most comfortable with. But I just think that giving your ballot to a stranger, no matter who they are is is just not good for the voter or the person who's collecting them because either side could make an accusation that you can't defend. You know, I, I could make an accusation that I gave my ballot to you and you knew I was Republican, so you threw it away. And you'd never be able to disprove it if you were going around collecting ballots. So I always recommend take, you know, have a family member or or yourself take it in. And that way you can hold your family member accountable. <laughs> 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 well, and, and also you would be able to verify whether or not it was uh, uh, turned in to the online system. Thank you for joining us. This has been Lincoln Shorts.